she has taken her practice of running up and down to get water and kind of evolved that further to be able to run in very rough circumstances and that is very impressive. She turned up just in a cotton t-shirt, long running pants and carrying nothing, no water, no food, no nothing. And several hours later, she'd won this race and that, that was her first ultra. soaked. A lot of the uh, powder uh, course markings were washed away. Uh, it was difficult. But I remember at the end, at the prize giving, Mira, she'd won first place. She was the first female. In fact, she was the only female. Mira has managed to overcome a lot of barriers, uh, especially when it comes to Nepali society. Your life path is mapped out at quite an early age for the girls here. And, you know, whereas I had choices when I was younger, the young girls just don't have that opportunity. Pani Bogni, Momulasa Gorni, and Daura Gaskatnu, the Yita Side Maya Tola Zanti. The first time I met her, saw her climb, it was difficult to believe it was her first time because she was a natural. When you've got the physical ability and the mental strength, that's when the magic happens. It's very important to have women role models because we don't have many of them. For somebody like Mira to come out of nowhere, and suddenly be recognized internationally for her talent. It's inspirational for them.